They arrived amidst heavy security and warm welcome. Then they began the candid talks. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres minced no words as he declared the debate open at the 72nd Assembly. Our world is in trouble, he said, while offering sharp rebuke of what member states agree could alter world peace. North Korea's nuclear aggression. Millions of people live under a shadow of dread cast by the provocative nuclear and missile tests of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. I condemn those tests unequivocally. President Trump's debut UN speech was the highlight of the debate as he issued direct threats to North Korea. He called some member states rogue regimes and vowed to put America's interests first. Rogue regimes represented in this body not only support terrorists, but threaten other nations and their own people with the most destructive weapons known to humanity. We can no longer be taken advantage of or enter into a one-sided deal where the United States gets nothing in return. The Venezuelan foreign minister condemned President Trump's speech, calling it unprecedented and unacceptable. It's a president who comes for the first time and speaks about war, about destroying countries, about blockades against countries, and uh, of course, the country that violates the human rights all over the world uh, seems to have the moral authority to come and speak to the rest of the countries as they were his employees. President Trump's speech took the shine at the debate, with those for and against it voicing their frustrations as soon as it was over, while Venezuelan foreign minister sharply criticized President Trump's speech. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu praised Trump's bold condemnation of Iran, saying, quote, In my 30 years at the UN, I have never heard a bolder or more courageous speech. We expect more reactions in the coming days. From the United Nations headquarters in New York, Adeshawa Josh, Channels Television News.